everybody it's me I'm back second day we're trying to repair the NES console okay so the last time I left off by finding a piece of something in the uh, power board I was shaking this around and there was something rattling in there and I pulled it out and it's a little metal piece and I was wondering what is this metal piece and I didn't know but after thinking about it real hard for a long time I figured out what it was it's the metal end of a snapped off RCA cable so what happened was somebody plugged in an RCA cable and broke it off and a little piece broke off in there is rattling around and it came off and I was wondering could that piece have shorted something out inside the power board and yeah there are at least two broken diodes inside so that metal piece probably shorted out those diodes and caused them to explode so I have no choice but to replace those diodes and guess what I got some diodes in the mail I will be putting those diodes in uh, and I'll be recapping the power board as well um, so my first first job is to get these four wick up the solder from these four points here just uh, they're big points and they say to get a solder sucker or whatever they're called and I don't have one so I'm wicking this up so I got two rolls of wick here hopefully that's enough here we go 10 feet each so 20 feet all right so I've never actually used solder wick but I've seen lots of videos this is a cheap soldering iron that I got at um, Radio Shack remember Radio Shack um, flux is good for cleaning and tip but you also need either wet sponge or like steel wool or sandpaper I don't have I don't have any of that stuff Okay. I got this little sandpaper brick thing that I got. Oh, but it's also kind of made of foam. Okay, let's keep going with the wick. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the next one. That's pretty good. Huh. All right, that's two. I'm sure wicking is easy when it's little little spots, but these are big spots. I think most most people recommend you don't wick this because it would take you forever, and it is taking forever. Finding a pretty good strategy is to lay the lay the solder wick down with the iron on top of it, and then to pull the solder wick across the solder. This seems to pretty good if I can do it without the solder wick sticking. I don't know, let's work on the other side. So I gotta flip it over and take off the solder from these four points right here. One, two, three, four. This one is a little piece right next to it. I'm afraid to lift it off the motherboard. I'm not very careful. All look loose except that one on the end. Oh, hello. Let's start with the diodes. Or the big guy here, we could take him off. Hey, check it out. It came right out. Okay, the diodes. Let's change the diodes. Alright, so let's get these diodes off. Oh, God. How am I going to figure out what... I'm going to figure out where they are. Come on. 
nothing to hold this down and it keeps sliding on me. It's not wicking up right here. Wick up. Wick up. put the diodes back in. Towards me. Yeah, down. Okay. So the arrow is pointing... The arrow is pointing at the gray line. Okay. Grab it. Put it in the hole. What just happened? Okay, it's, it's in there. Why doesn't this work for me? Flux is supposed to make this easy. This is terrible. Um, I got an idea. Let's uh, not work at an angle here. I got, okay, let's be smart about this. No wonder nothing's working. Everything's sliding off because I'm a doofus. Let's take this off. Oh, I could do that. Okay, let's do that. That works. Oh, that looks beautiful. All right, that one turned out good. All right, just one more to do for the diodes, and then we'll start doing caps. I still don't know if that should be bridged. I don't know. I don't remember if that was bridged before or not. It's bridged now, though. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be replacing these three at the top. I don't know if you can see them that well. There's three there. Plus this one off to the side, and then this one down here. So, oh, plus the, uh, this guy. Let's do that first. That'll be easy. When are human beings going to evolve a third arm? Really be helpful. So I'm going to use a technique called, um, Push it down with the soldering iron. There. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's solder that down. Okay. Got it. If C25 is 100 microfarads and 10 volts. 10 volt 100. Okay, here's a 10 volt 100. So that must be the one. Okay, that came out. Polarity is important. Do -do 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 -do. Woo! Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so that's pretty easy to spot. It's right next to it, right next door. It's the next door neighbor of the one we just pulled out. I'm just gonna push these through and then suck up the wick, or suck up the solder after they're through. It's not coming. 
something out though. C23 is 100 microfarad, 25 volts. So negative is the stripe. Whoa. What did I do? I was unsoldering the wrong thing. I didn't realize the orientation of the the legs were different from the one next to it. Because there's three holes right under the capacitor. I don't know which one it used. And I don't know which two holes the legs go into. Oh wait. Wait a sec. The other picture that I have will tell me. Oh, it's the two bottom ones. Okay. What is this one? 50 volts, one microfarad. So this is our one microfarad. Okay, yeah, this one. Hey, this is a good chart here. It marks where, where the holes are. This one's gonna be hard. I hope I don't lift up whatever this thing is. Little tiny thing there right next to it. I've lift. I think I've lifted those up before. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if I got that yet or not. Let's try and pull it up though. Hey, it came out. Do, 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 do. So it is my understanding, here it is, that the 16 volt one only has to do with the RF modulator. No, oh, the big one, right, right. And so, yeah, there, <laughs> two more to do. Thank you, two more to do. Um, 16 volt one only has to do with the RF modulator and is actually not required for the NES to work, but I'm going to put it in anyways. My solder got stuck to it. Come on, give me back my solder. Okay. Okay, I'm going to cut these off and then we'll do the big guy. Okay. Looks okay. Looks okay. All right, let's put the big one on. Home stretch. Okay. Okay. I did it. All the capacitors have been replaced. All right, so I guess I'll clean it up with some alcohol and then we'll put it back on. Na -na -na! Okay, I guess I'll start by soldering this stuff back together. Yeah, I found this extra one, the one I'm working on now, I found at Goodwill. It was $10 at Goodwill, but it doesn't work. So I was like trying to fix it and I'm still trying to fix it. There we go. Just gotta get solder on all of those little points there. Why don't I just draw? There is so little solder on these before. I'm afraid to get very much on there. Oh, 
Well, should we plug it in and see? See what happens? This next part assumes that the LED light still works in the case, the power LED. So I'm gonna plug in the power LED and then I'm gonna plug in the power. And if the power LED comes on, then that's a win. If not, it could be that the power, power LED is itself is faulty. Um, in which case I'd have to put more of the system together, put a game in it, and then see what happens. Okay, power LED will be right here. Not sure if you'll see it on camera or not. Yeah, this is the home stretch. So let me go grab the power adapter. Okay, power's in. <gasps> it works! It works! It works! Oh my gosh, do you see that? Yes, I see the light! I can't believe I did it! Oh my gosh, I'm feeling so accomplished right now. That's the first thing. This is the most complicated thing I've ever fixed. Yeah! Happy, happy, joy, joy, happy, hey, Sonic happy, Last Riot, my friend from happy, school! Happy, joy, joy, what a perfect happy, way to celebrate. Happy, joy, joy, happy, a successful happy, joy, joy, operation happy, on the original joy, joy, Nintendo happy, Entertainment happy, System. Now, joy, 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 my question is, do you guys want to go to bed? Or do you want me to finish putting this together and, and actually putting a game in and seeing if it boots up and everything? You guys want to, you guys want to see that too? Finish, finish with the game. All right, let's do it. Let's put the rest of this back together then. This cables back in. weird okay okay we'll do Super Mario Brothers 2 how's that You guys can't see that. Hey guys, I'm so happy. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks, uh, Deadmore, especially for all your helpful tips and tricks for getting the solder to uh, to function properly and helping me out. Uh, this has been a real journey. I'm going to put this video on YouTube in an edited, a very much edited down format. For YouTube I've got um, the video where I picked up the NES I got the part one of trying to fix it where I actually figured out what the problem was and now I've got the I fixed it video I'm gonna edit that yeah thanks thank you